Good afternoon, Patriots. JT here, Serenity Farms, prepping. How long do we have? As in America, how long do we have before it all goes sideways? I mean, right now it's tilting precariously on the edge of that precipice, but we know that it can't go on. Everything about the country right now is fake, phony, and false. Propped up, artificially inflated, deflated. We're being distracted at every turn to keep us distracted. Now, folks like us are not really distracted. We have distractions. A lot of what they do is distracting, but we aren't losing our focus, right? So, uh, Crimes against humanity, genocidal murdering maniac from our greatest ally comes over and gets a standing ovation and called his excellency by the uniparty controlled by the big Z political scum. Except for Thomas Massey. That man's a hero. So... Trump didn't say anything really nice about him. He even said a couple things that I liked, but I still don't trust him. I just can't get on board. But, back to that. So Israel wants nothing more than to bomb Lebanon. Well, they want us to do it. And we have a lot of warmongering butt sluts that want to do it. So I don't know. That'll lead to much larger things. But that's really not what I'm talking about. Unless they wait until the October surprise to do that. Because Israel hates us. Anyone who actually believes they're our greatest ally has not done an ounce of research, read the Talmud, and listened to the actual people over there talk about their love for you. So they may wait. They want America destroyed after they've sucked every last dime out of us they can. But they're on a time frame now. So either, and you know, it, what a twisted world we live in where the Democrats hate the country and hate you and I. Israel hates the country and hates you and I. And they really hate the Democrats and the uniparty scum that they're playing with. But they're going to do it as long as there is some use for each other. While they hate each other. I guess that might be the where the term frenemy comes from. But anyway. It's likely the Democrats will act in October or the first week in November. You've heard that from many people. They have to make a decision. Camaho ain't it. They know it ain't going to work. That leads me to believe October is the uh, go time. Now, according to a lot of so-called experts, there's only like 12 to 15 million illegal invading scumbags in this country when in reality the total is probably much, much closer to 50 million. Many of them have been here for years. I don't care. If we survive, we need to get rid of them all. Now, these same experts tell us that there's only only 20 or 30,000 highly trained military invading illegal aged men, a.k.a. terrorists, here 
in the country. And that they're all strategically positioned throughout America in cesspool shithole cities located right near military bases or large infrastructure uh, projects like the electrical grid power station on the eastern seaboard or major water supplies fuel depots, all that kind of stuff. And that when the dog whistle is given, simultaneously there will be multiple, multiple incidents all happening at one time. The grid will know because cell phones will go down some electrical grids will go down, communications will go down, except for maybe the TV, because they want the news to show everything that's happening that will push maximum fear and hysteria. So you're gonna see lots of shit go down, then you're gonna see maybe a couple small dirty bombs, but. What you're going to see is like a van full of terrorists on a crowded highway where traffic has come to a standstill. And you're going to see 8, 10 masked terrorists jump out of the van and just start mowing down anybody they see. And then you're going to see this in an inner city. And you're going to see it in a crowded school or hospital or arena all on the same day at virtually the same time within 72 hours the country will be locked down shut down put down pick one now that will likely come from whoever is in power at that time Will it be Pedo Joe and Camo Ho? Oh, so proof of life. Does anyone think that Pedo Joe's actually still alive? Did you see the guy that came out on the front of the swamp lawn or whatever with Dr. Jill that was clearly six inches at least taller than the other Pedo Joe just from two weeks ago and how could Dr. Jill be there with Pedo Joe when she was also seen on the same day getting off Air Force Two in Paris to go to the Satan Olympics something very strange is going on back to Whoever's in charge of the Democrat Party in October, they'll give the dog whistle, get their maximum fear and hysteria, and lock it all down. Now they can do this several different ways. They can recall troops from every shithole where they got them, but I don't know if they want to do that. They have troops stationed all over the world to intentionally weaken the country so that troops cannot be used to stop everything that's coming because they know who the troops are going to side with or at least we hope so with oh I don't know 15 20 million illegal invading military age men in the country some blue helmets maybe some chai comms they can lock down the country, give all those guys, from what I understand, purple shirts, and they'll lock it all down. And they will shoot whoever they feel like it because they have no allegiance to the U.S. or our Constitution. Now, if the acts of terrorism and everything go down starting November 6th or so, 
the Democrats are technically still in power until January 20th. If we have to wait from November 5th or 6th to January, there, the inauguration would be uh, very quick. Wouldn't be a big public spectacle. Everybody's locked down. It would be maybe just in the office with a handful of people there televised if possible so that everyone believes it's happening and then Trump likely would order American troops but if none of them are around still got to get them all home you see the dilemma we're in now if you're a Q-tard then you believe that this is all under control and if something does happen well They're supposed to let it happen so that we can bring in the troops. I I don't know. What I'm getting at is either way, whoever's president, we are farted. Even if it's Trump, we'll squash the insurrection and begin again with absolutely no infrastructure because it's all gone it'll have been destroyed what's left of it we have no way to get more materials everything the US relies on is from another country and right now every other country is in the process of dumping the dollar which is another problem did you know today what is today Monday the 29th there are 22 banks across the United States shut down right now because they have no money that is the reason they have no money it's only going to get worse Now remember, banks, that FDIC bullcrap, they can confiscate all your money with the rules they were given and they can tell you that you have bank stock options equivalent to the amount of money that you had, but you have no money. And if you try and cash in those stock options, you're going to find out that they ain't worth squiddily. So either way, you're screwed. And if they bring it, yeah, I just, we can go on and on and on. It's ad nauseum repetitive. We all just keep waiting for it to go down. As much as I talk about it, you know that it's going down down. No, we can't pinpoint a date. Every time we think it's closer and closer, there's another distraction. They move it back for whatever reason. But uh, it's not because the white hats are stopping them. So, I think we all agree regardless the election time is going to be our most dangerous time. I don't believe that the Democrats can allow it to happen unless they have been guaranteed that they're going to be able to cheat enough. But I don't see that, not from all the measures that I've been told have been taken. Too big to rig, is is, that sounds cute, but... Uh, So, I don't see how they can let it happen. If they do, then they've got that three-month window to totally destroy the United States and even stop Trump from uh, taking office if we're at war or there's been a natural catastrophe or an alien invasion or whatever they dream of. 
or they let Trump take office, collapse everything, and hope he gets blamed for it because what's he going to do? Prepare, prepare, pre, prepare. I, at least a year, two would be better, three would be great. Yeah, you don't have time for three years unless you're extremely wealthy and are going to buy a three-year supply of everything you need right now. Ugh, that's all I got. JT, signing up.